Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be kicking off another budget build series, this time building towards Simic or Blue Green Flash. So, this is one of the popular decks that have come out of M20 standards thus far. Um, so, the deck itself is pretty budget to begin with. So, its first iteration um, is basically all in commons and commons, uh, with the inclusion of some of the dual lands just for consistency of mana. Um, you can use basics, you can use tap lands if need be. Um, from there we'll go to a mid-budget version, which is basically going to be the current iteration of the deck. The main card that we're missing out of this is Night Pack Alpha, which is uh, kind of the payoff card, uh, Night Pack Ambusher. Um, so this is kind of like a... Anthem for Wolves, you can flash it in, it creates a bunch of 2-2s two which become 3-3s three with the ability. Um, it's a very good card for this type of archetype. Uh, so we'll move into the kind of tiered version of it that's been putting up some results. And then for the non-budget version I want to explore adding in a third color. Um, I find this deck struggles a bit of dealing with result threats. Um, so I'll probably go Sultai, I like stuff like Cast Down or Assassin's Trophy in the mix. Um, so we'll try that out just to see if it makes a difference going to add a third color or not. Um, but you'll at least get with the mid-budget version the full blue-green uh, flash deck. So what's this deck trying to do? Um, in the easiest sense, every card in the main board can be played on your opponent's turn. Uh, so if the ability flashes, you can play stuff at instant speed. So the goal of the deck is to, first off, try to play first. Uh, that's a real skill-intensive part of Magic. But it's to counter what your opponent does, and if you don't need to counter something, you flash in a creature and uh, put some early threats on it. So our flash creature package in this list includes Spectral Sailor. So it's a 1-mana, one 1-1 one, one flyer that for 3-mana we can draw a card. So late game this is good because if you don't have anything to counter, you can just draw a card. Uh, there's Brineborn Cutthroat, which is a 2-mana, two 2-1, two and whenever we cast a spell on our opponent's turn, we get to put a counter on it. So you can basically play it, counter everything, make a huge smash your opponent. Uh, we have Trickster, which is a classic of the mono blue deck. Uh, it can tap down your opponent's stuff, make them lose their abilities, and then just kind of screw up combat math. And then we have Frilled Mystic, which is a great card because you can both counter stuff, as well as um, have a threat that's a 3-2. I might switch the mana base actually seeing, because this version doesn't have as much green, so we don't need as much green in this. Um, so let's do this. Okay. Um, now the counter spell package, we have Syncopate, which is a better spell pierce because we can usually draw them out longer. Sinister Sabotage, and then Essence Scatter versus Creatures, and Negate versus Non-Creatures. Uh, I have Opt as just a kind of card draw effect, and then I have a bounce package of Unsummon, which you can actually use with your own Frilled Mystic, for example, to bounce your Frilled Mystic back, counter something else, protect yourself if need be, and Blink of an Eye to get rid of stuff like Teferi, or any kind of Planeswalker or threat that slips under the cover. Uh, the sideboard in this, we don't get stuff like... Uh, the green dinosaur that's pro blue, name's eluding me right now. Um, a couple other spells, like I like having Vivian in the side as kind of a card draw engine. There's a couple of different ways you can play this out. Um, so we're playing Veil of Summer against the blue black decks, protection, stuff like that. Aether Gust um, against like Gruul decks or big creature decks. Uh, dinosaurs, this is really good as a tempo play. Another blank in case like we need an answer for Teferi in this build. Uh, we have Negates some more uh, Narsets against the control matchups and then Thrashing Dontodons, Brontodons versus the Nexus matchup. Um, so for this version here, I'll take it through a couple games of best of one and then, sorry, best of three and then a couple games of best of one. Um, as I do generally with the budget version, I won't play that with ranked, but the mid and non-budget version, I'll play that through ranked. Um, as always, you can catch a full write-up of the deck, uh, all three variations, and the detailed thoughts behind it on the Arena subreddit afterwards. Um, and it's a great way to kind of join in, have any chats. I've already posted the Teamer Elementals build, Blue White Flyers, and Rakdos Aristocrats, so if you want to check that out, everything's there, as well as a bunch of budget decks. As always, everything that we do play on the channel or on Twitch is available uh, on the YouTube channel afterwards. Uh, so we will play first. So already winning. 
So this is great because we can play out a threat on one, hold up syncopate and negate, and protect that threat. Mono red's usually a bit of a tougher matchup. Okay, so this can be a couple decks. Um, so this can be the cavalcade deck or just the mono red deck with Spitfire. Um, here, I'll just play out a second blue source. So the best thing here is if they try to drop something like Cavalcade, we can negate it. Yeah, so this looks more like the Cavalcade version. I uh, can't syncopate that, unfortunately. Uh, I think we just do this for one. Okay, it prevents them from being able to pick off our Spectral Sailor. Uh, here, do we want to... I think we just hold up both so we can negate and opt this turn. We do have to shock ourselves next turn if we don't draw a land. Okay, so let's see what we get here. Uh, one short there. This matchup's probably really hard because we don't have a sweeper. Uh, we could ambush the war boss, which is nice. We're gonna have to block here, unfortunately. So they'll attack in. So not great value. So in this matchup, not having the alpha really hurts. Or the ambusher, keep calling it alpha. I think that was an Avacyn card. But here, because they, they already have pressure, yeah, okay. So we lost this one. So this is one of the negatives of playing a flash style. You're reactive to your opponent's board. So here, Brontodons, we want uh, probably the Blink and the Aether Gusts. Uh, coming out will be Negates. Probably Syncopate, because their stuff's pretty cheap. Actually, Syncopate might be better than the Sabotage. Uh, da -da -da -da. Just cut all the Sabotage. Okay, keep a couple. Brontodon's just in here as a blocker. Does require us to tap out, though. But if they have Cavalcade, it has the extra. I don't think we're going to be opting. And summons fine, it can get rid of like tokens or just some of the one drops slow them down at least a turn. Or just do a split like that. Really what you want to play against this deck is not hyper aggressive. You want to be playing against like a dinosaurs deck, for example, where they're playing one spell a turn. When they can play out multiple things a turn, it makes it a lot harder because you need multiple counter spells. And that's something I want to try out with the Black Splash, is having something like Cryo Carnarium. Okay, we'll keep this hand. So a problem with this is they're most likely going to have a one drop. And that gets under our ability to counter something with Essence Scatter. So if we can dodge the one drop, we're in a really good spot. But this deck having so many, it's unusual. Okay, Trickster's good there. 
probably just ambush. Okay, so... Nothing with haste. We will take the one damage here. Okay, so they blow a lightning strike, that's their turn. Just past turn here. So I don't think we want to trade the Brimeborn. See if they play anything else. We can put this on top of their library, but I think we just let it resolve. Okay, so. Just pass the turn here. They can either lightning strike or set up the cavalcade. And we can aether gust the cavalcade back on top of their library. Put this on top of the opponent's library. It buys us a couple turns. They can attack in with Scorch Splitter. And it also means they won't draw land. Okay, we'll just pass the turn. We'll do the same play as last time. We're really just trying to buy time here. So basically... This gets around because you're countering it before it results. It's not countering, it's a replacement effect. So that gets around uncounterable. Try again. So green source would be great here. We hold up frilly. Uh, here... Let's just pass the turn. So I'm not going to play anything. We're going to let them make the move. We'll attack in here. So we don't get the trigger, but it protects our cutthroat. Okay. Still think we're in a pretty good spot. We're probably still winning this race. We can just counter whatever creatures they play. We kept them off this line for a couple turns. Okay, syncopate's good. It's a catch-all removal. Or catch-all counter. And that shows they don't have a removal spell for Frilled Mystic. So we can X3 this, get rid of that, and then we can also Essence Scatter whatever creature they play. Would like to draw something like an Unsummon or another counter spell more lands doesn't help at this point maybe worthwhile playing like a chemist's insight or something in the side or even in the main just a way to refill our hand no thank you
Okay, Spectral Sailor is great because it draws us cards. Okay, that's fine. So here we can Spectral Sailor, draw a card, and Essence Scatter. Uh, here, let's see what we get. Mm, no blocks. I think this is more useful for us. Okay, they got the double war boss. Primeborn's pretty good for us. Let's see, just in case we get a Brontodon. Okay, we don't. It's actually pretty good because we can Brineborn and then Spectral Sailor to make this two toughness to block one of the tokens. Ooh. You are an elemental lizard, so they might down tick here though for to play out the goblin. We are certainly blocking with Spectral Sailor if that's the case. Okay, so they're going all in here. Come on. Just block like that. Oh, Frill Mystic's perfect. And this is just what you want to do with this deck. You're just tempoing out your opponent. We can counter whatever they play. Uh, you deal two damage to any target. Uh, man, they've drawn every war boss they've had in this deck. And we should have this wrapped up now. Chandra Spitfire. They'll probably down tick on Frilled Mystic here is my guess. Yep, that's fine. So we just tap it down now and attack in for the win. Awesome, got him. Uh, so because counter spells are less likely to happen here, I'm gonna cut down on a couple of them. So I'll cut down on the sabotage. Uh, do we just want an opt? It helps fuel, helps us dig deeper. And the gates could be fine, just play an opt. This doesn't do anything. They're not drawing cards at all, so Narset doesn't do anything. Just play it like that. This is just a blocker at the end of the day. Okay, we'll play it like that. They should have the advantage this game though. Just being able to play a turn beyond their counter spells. Uh, and summon's pretty good. Ooh, and they miss a one drop. That's really good for us. Okay, so here, so the unfortunate thing here is we can't Spectral Sailor and Summon and then play Brontodon, but we can probably just go like this. 
unsummon their creature, whatever they play. Okay. So we're in a pretty good spot. They kept the hands, probably a bunch of uh, three drop creatures. Okay, so they hit the land. So we need to tempo them out like that. So we did that so they don't draw another land. Okay, so. And then this way we are allowed to play on summon as well. We're going to put a stop on their combat. Okay, and turn, they draw that. Okay, so resolve. And we're just going to summon this back to the opponent's hand. You got to make sure you put a stop there. Um, otherwise, you don't get, like, they'll get the token. And then Frilled Mystic lets us protect against this war boss. And we've basically just made him waste three turns casting the same spell while we put pressure on the opponent. <laughs> we've drawn a lot of our force. Try again. All right, got him there. Uh, here, probably just go Brontodon and turn. We have a lot of pressure on the opponent. If they're just setting up while we have 9, 10 power in play, that's fine. They'll get the trigger here, but they're dead otherwise. My mouse keeps sticking. They're dead regardless, they only have a block, and it kills them there. Sweet! Took down Cavalcade of Calamity. That's another popular deck going on right now that's pretty budget. Um, I think that was a good demo of the deck for best of three. I'm going to try out a best of one. I think a lot of the gameplay I want to showcase is the kind of the mid-budget tune version. There's a lot of interesting lines at play with, Night with the Ambusher there. So we'll play another game of best of one, just so we get a feel. I usually like putting my focus on the deck that's like the closest kind of competitive, and we'll play rank there. Um, I do think the Cavalcade's probably like a tier two deck. Um, it's very glass cannon. It either wins miraculously or like that game there, they didn't really do anything. If we can dodge mono red, I think we're okay. And if we're playing like any ramp strategy, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Just counter everything they do. Uh, we will keep this. Opponent does go first. But we got a bunch of two mana counters and a, a one mana threat. White weenie. Ooh. Healer Hawk. This can be the blue-white flyers deck, which is really annoying. Oh, black, oh, black-white life gain. Uh, no blocks here. Um. So I'm going to see if they play out like a pride mate here, I'm going to counter it. 
And then next turn we can unsummon the other pride mate. Mm. I think we just need to block here for the long game. Um, this deck's likely not going to play. So we're just going to unsummon here. I think I'm going to take the four here, see what they play, and then do it on end step so that we can frilled mystic it on the way back down. Okay, so they don't play anything. In the end, they only gain two life. This is a creature deck, these two negate. Oh, Brian Bourne's pretty good. Like drawing the negates against creature decks pretty bad. Hopefully they try to play something like a Sorin. Or just a Lyra. Alright, well gonna have to try to race them as difficult as that might be. Drew the Frilled Mystic a turn too late. Let's see what they drop down here. I don't think we could win this game. Looks like a life in uh, death deck. Okay, well they have the cast down. They're out of cards, so if we could draw uh, another frilled mystic doesn't help. We do need an unsummon. Or like one of our cheap flyers. Merfolk Trickster is also something. But we're hardly making a dent in their life total. No Frilled Mystic. Nope. Opponent got us there. We'll run it back for one more quick best of one. I think for the build series I want to try black and white uh, life gain. Or is off life gain. We'll run this back, see how this goes. Yeah, we'll keep this. Opponent does go first. It's vampires, most likely. Esper. Esper vampires. Okay. Well. Very nice start for the opponent. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Uh, a couple lines of play here. We can probably just trickster down the Conquistador. Uh, I 
don't think we want that. Hmm. Do we want to go Trickster the Conquistador, force him to not attack with that? We could just take a hit with Brineborn and try to get it out of control. We can't double spell next turn. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we can't even Trickster. Okay, well, I think we just got to go defensively here. Ah, oh, and Knight of Even. Okay, so we got to try to ambush something here. Okay, so they're going to go to combat. may stop them from attacking in. Teferi finds a way. We haven't seen our boy Teferi in a while. Yeah. That's a sweet vampires list. Uh, Teferi makes this very awkward for us because we can't play our deck. Um, so here... We're just going to have to go the value plan. That's more like it. Knight of Even comes down. Another cruel celebrant. We're pretty much dead. I like this variation of vampires. It's very aggressive, and the fairy deals with a lot of the bad matchup. So we're gonna take two. Yeah, we're dead. All right, so we ran into some tough aggro matchups in best of one. Uh, if we're seeing more to fairy in the format, this deck's gonna have a really hard time, um, just because it turns off a lot of what it wants to do. Like, Brineborn just becomes a really bad 2-1 for 2 mana. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Um, we'll come back with the mid-budget full uh, blue-green flash deck. Uh, the uh, the wolf will help a lot. And I put Ambusher. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe. Have a great one.